welcome to Awake TV. So today I want to talk about five thoughts that destroy your romantic relationship and how to control your negative thoughts on your own with activation. So those of you who don't know me, I'm Erica Fruzano. I'm a rapid love transformation expert. I help people who are in a stagnant romantic relationship to end the pain, fear, get clarity, and be with their true love. So I help people, few people, on this week for strategy call session. It's a free strategy call session. So you can discuss about the issues and We'll find out what we can do to move forward in more positive direction and having an amazing relationship in 2020. So let's get dive into it. So what kind of thoughts are really bad and destroying your relationship? Number one, it's her fault, it's his fault. You know, when you start thinking, whatever the issue you're having in a romantic relationship is 100% of the other person's fault, and you have nothing to you know, fix or offer some kind of uh, compromise, that's a problem because it takes two people to tango. So when you think the other person is 100% wrong or 100% like problem of not doing something, you really want to think deep if that is true or not. Most of the case, it's not going to be 100% of the other person's fault. You want to think that way for whatever the reason. And then if you're not flexible enough to meet the other person in the half of the way, how can you have a relationship? You know, it's not an equal relationship. Number two, you don't apologize when you mess up during a relationship. It takes courage and the braveness to apology. You know, we tend to justify our action. Uh, we want to explain like why we did this or why this happened. But explaining the situation isn't apology. Sometimes when you are in messy, you know, situation, the other person only want to hear, I'm sorry. I fucked up. I hurt you. It was my fault. What can we do to move forward from here? You know, like, if the other person never apologizes, you're always like thinking, okay, some kind of like, thorn is stuck in your heart. You know, why is he going to apologize? Just like the person is buying you some nice stuff or buying you dinner or being suddenly sweet and nice to you, that is not apology. And <laughs> that cannot be replaced for the apology. Number three. Betrayal. 
when your partner is betraying you for whatever the form like two persons they have to have a certain definition what the betrayal is but if the other person is completely trusted you and stab you in the back that is a huge factor to destroying the relationship you know it takes time for the other person to heal and to go back to the love level the same as before you're like your heart is completely shattered and broken you know and it takes time and I mean, even if it doesn't take time because you know, like special healing technique like I have, it just takes at least some time to go back to where you are at, to love the other person. You know, unless we are like Jesus Christ for real, we are like human beings. It's like so difficult to just forgive in a snap of the hand and just forgive in one second and go back like cheery and oh i love you so much but it doesn't work that way number four you are not there to work on the relationship like self-sabotage or some kind of sabotage when the other person is not trying to make an effort in the relationship, that will definitely destroy the relationship. Because like I said, it takes two people to tango. Number five, this is important. You or the other person is not trusting this relationship. Trust is everything. If you don't have a trust, and I would say passion, in this relationship, it will die. Because you can create a relationship with willpower and the mind. It should come from your heart. And the way you don't have passion, and you don't have this trust, like innate trust, that somehow this will work out. It will be difficult. It will be very difficult to work this out. So what can you do? Well, you can do a couple of things. First, it is very important to write it down and to clarify. Because sometimes you might be believing in some kind of programming or belief instead of truth. So writing down stuff will separate you or at least make your thought or mind more organized to kind of like separate what is your thought what is your belief and what is your truth and number two it always effective to meditate i always say meditation is not solution for everything but at least when you meditate, you can calm yourself down and put yourself into a relaxing state. So when you're calm and relaxed, you can see stuff more clearly. And that is important to find a solution. Meditation helps for that matter. Number three, it is important to seek the guidance from the professional you know sometimes people like me i offer a free strategy call for the people who are in a stagnant romantic relationship to end the pain and the fear get clarity and be with their true love so you can ask me for help and i can help you to clarify what you're going on and see how we can transform together about the situation. Fast. So, you can ask for the help from the professional and also 
you can talk about you what you're going through with your friend as well at least your friends can give you a uh, emotional support which is important so you don't have to go through everything on your own okay so that's what i wanted to share for this episode thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe i see you guys next time bye